All right, hello and welcome back to the pit. Powered by Purebred Records. I'm here with Bourbons Johnson and Tor. Here, Nick um, Tomaso. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. We playing pong, answering some questions. It's gonna be fun. So uh, I guess the first question I can ask Nick is, what drew you to make music in the first place? What drew me to make music, honestly. Um, I always had a passion for music. I always liked to listen to different things. I enjoy it way more than TV and and um, YouTube and social media and stuff like that. And then as soon as I found out how easy it was, especially nowadays, to gain some sort of a following, it's just like if I don't try now, when am I going to? Was there a was there a specific thank you, was there a specific uh, artist or someone that like really made you start this? Like, was you heard one song? I'm gonna have to you? say. I'm gonna have to say old SoundCloud Nav. Like Ooh. I still have his like on my own. It's like my favorite song of all time. How you doing? It's okay. So, so what drew you into doing music? Honestly, I believe I've I've always loved music. Like it's it's always been a big part of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like music. You know, my mom introduced me to it. Like. She used to like Lauren Hill and shit like that. Yeah. And like, I don't know, I just always loved it. Like, just the rhythm, you know. Without music, then, you know, in this world, there's no, there's no rhythm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like everything, bro, everything really is music now, <laughs> to be honest. No For flavor. Real. Like, music is the universal language. Exactly. That's what I understand. For real. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'm oh. sorry, I'm sorry, because I'm just watching. Your red is not going to fall. <laughs> Alright, um, so uh, what's your creative process like when you make a song? No joke, I just look for a beat that I like, and then whatever comes to my head, I start with the first bar, think of all the rhymes I can for that bar, and the words that I can fit in between them, and just go from there. As far as choruses, that's something you just kind of say gibberish to the, <laughs> to the best part of the beat until like you get catch a flow, and then you just fill it in. So you start with the verse first? Yeah. Yeah. Because like when I make music, I start with the chorus first always. Word? Yeah, yeah I feel that. Like, yeah, but you're, you're more of a hook. Like, huh? You're more of a hook. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All your songs are like based around the hook. Which is fire. Yeah. Bro, I wish I could I wish I could do that, bro. I would start with the choruses if I could. But <laughs> 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 uh, what about you? Um <laughs> <laughs> You know, little by little. Freestyle. Catch it, it catches my ear, you know, I'll you know, write a little something to it. Whatever comes to mind first. Like, I always like to just catch a vibe, you know. More yeah. All right, so I guess you both answer this. Which artist do you think inspired each of you to make your music? You know, which each? Nah. Which, sure nah. Nah. Yeah. 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 Bust the dog. Bust the dog. Make an appearance. Make an appearance. <laughs> I got this guy. <laughs> Wait, so which artist? That's yeah. a really good question. Honestly, I feel like... What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> oh shit. Thank you, thank you. He playing with you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a good question. Honestly, I think it would have to be like... Awesome. Not to like that, not to sound like cliche or nothing, but like J. Cole, like since I first heard him, like it was just like a Yeah, his mixtapes used to Yeah, like mm -hmm. just old mixtapes on the come up. Can't get enough. What? Can't get enough. Oh Trey songs, bro, that's still I really, like, like, Yeah, I feel I felt like J. Cole is, is yeah. a master lyricist. Definitely. You know, he's got the flow, he's got everything down. Exactly, he's got everything down. So that yeah, that's who inspired me really to, to become an artist. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. thing. What about now, now that we have a blessed the dawn and our presence here? Yeah, who inspired inspire you to make your music? What artist? Damn, J. Cole on his shirt. I just peeped that. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the concert? Well, he played that. Well, nah, he, he inspired me to make music. Oh, oh. <laughs> nah, he showed He had these two oh. singles. A couple, like, it was a while ago. He had these two singles he recorded. One he recorded on his phone, and the other one he went to the studio with. The one we just recorded with, he going places. That was the yeah. first song he ever showed me. Uh, and I heard him. He was like, bro, 
He's like, bro, just try it. Just try it. I was like, nah, bro. I'll never rap. Uh, I can't rap, bro. I'm not creative like that. Now look how it is. Now I'm just mm-hmm. laying these tracks. Plus the dog. 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 Specific thing that is like a hidden meaning behind any of the music you do? Nah, dude. Nah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no one this bro, song. no one cares about what I gotta say. I'm just oh, trying to make shit. Well, what about a things. variation on that? What about is there anything that you've written about that's drawn from a real life experience? Yes. Oh, that's yes. A I actually, a song I have with both of them, which I recorded with Cam last time I was here. <laughs> what we do? Yeah, what we do. Oh, bro, you Yo, know, first, first couple song. bars, first couple bars in the song bro, is like. He wrote that song when he was 16. I remember it. I was there. I was there with 18, you. 18, bro. Right after, oh, I, right 18. after yeah, yeah, right after I recorded on myself and Feel Right. Yeah. That's what I and I bought the I bought the stems and all that. Yeah, I, I was just rapping about how like oh I was 18 and I didn't know where I was going. Like I was one of the bars like oh, I'm 18 with a midlife crisis. I'm gonna pay. I don't care what the price is. Yeah. And I love it to me. That's what life is. But, I was like, Yo, so that that that's my that's my bag song. Put it like that. Coming soon, by the way. It's know. funny because. You know, yeah, I, about about teenage teenage addict. Addict. I saw about teenage addict about where I, my first lyric is like something about being 19 yeah. and people want you to have your life figured out already yeah. when well, I just graduated high school. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, why am I supposed to know everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. Definitely cool. All right. All right. What about you? Yeah, we're going to Highland, first of all. <laughs> I was like, not down. Any of your songs come from? Like real life experiences oh. and shit you went through. Like, break, to be honest, I'm break pretty break. sure most, you know, all oh, good, um, yeah, good I amount mean, too. comes from real life experiences for sure. Does that count? I feel like yeah, that's more. That's terrible. Yeah, but yeah, definitely, definitely comes from real life experiences. Like I feel like, like in my music, what you get from me is is really my life in, in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like my experiences, my you know stories that I have to tell. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's about it. Hey. My songs, the songs I bring for myself, yeah. yeah, they're just like they're about real shit. But like my features, like my features is like, nah, yeah, I'm making this shit. I'm going hard for, for, my, for my bros, like I'm going hard for yeah, my bros. Yeah, so I'm gonna right. say whatever, but like my songs, my, my two songs. Bro, that was coming right here. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> groups like like that like collaborative groups to, to bring each other 
you know, to bring each other up and, exactly. and basically boost each other's fame. Exactly, exactly. And then, you know, how does that compare, like, any of those other groups that are out there to ones? Or, like, what set it ones apart? Because we don't care about what everybody else can help. We're not going to get divided by money. We're not going to get divided by fame. None of that. Like, we're just... No females. Yeah, like, we're just, we're family. Like, yeah, it's, especially we're not going to get divided. Yeah. We know that. Bro. Because there's a lot of bullshit going on in the media right now. The problem, the problem with everybody is everybody has their everybody has their price. You feel me? Yeah. And they just flip on everybody just if they hear that price that they have. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's terrible. Right? That's the thing with us. Terrible. We don't have like a price. So we can't be bought like that. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. And honestly, it's something special. I mean, y'all all grew up together, so yeah. y'all are going to be tighter than any of these groups out here. If we get bought, it's a package deal, you feel me? You feel me? Tight shit. 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 You know, I know you guys are just starting out, you're probably like a smaller fan base, but you know, what, what's, you know, you must show some love to their page, pages, and you know, what's, what's the way you interact with your fans? Honestly, what fans? No. <laughs> no. Yo, every time someone sends me a Snapchat of them bumping my music in the oh, car, oh, yeah, that yeah. shit motivates me crazy. I and like, like, honestly, if I can get 10 of those, like, a week, I can make music for a year. Is there one song that people seem to send you the most? Um, myself. I don't know. I don't know if you've heard it, but they know it. I, bro, I told you was not jacking it, bro. <laughs> yeah, yo, when yeah. When first made that song, that I said, "Yo, bro." They was, like, they was like, "Oh no, I like Phil Ray. I like Phil." Ray. I said, like, "No, I said myself is it." You know what I'm saying? I said myself is a hit. Yo, myself that, has more plays than Phil Ray. The bro. unreleased, the unreleased track is still in this phone, bro. From Dante's laptop, he put it in my phone from. The chord, bro. Yeah, I'm really. Oh, my, my, yeah, yeah, song is on my he phone, has myself, bro. bro. Apple oh, Music. I'll put it on his phone, bro. <laughs> so then, let me go into that. So two years ago, when I was 18, I went to a Brewery Recording Studio in Brooklyn, and I was like, "Screw it! If I'm gonna make a song, I'm gonna do it right. It's gonna sound a one." So I went and worked, and like this, the session time came with an engineer, right. and that shit, that that was like 80, and I was like 100 dollars an hour. Who's yeah. the studio with the engineer? But they had an early bird, early bird special, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. So I woke myself up at 6 a.m., went in there, dolo. Drove to Brooklyn, dolo. Walked in the studio, dolo. Met this engineer, had him cue up all my songs, and made two songs by myself. And after that, I got like, I got like, like combined, the two songs probably got like 10,000 plays on SoundCloud. And then like after that, you know, I went to college, you know, real life happened. <laughs> and then my man Tor over here started rapping, <laughs> and he remembered my songs from back then. He's like, "Bro, hop on a verse, hop on this, hop on that." I'm like, and he was like, I'm, he was, he was I'm like, yeah, like, "I got songs, man." Uh, bro, and, <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh," and Doctor was like, "Yo, my boy Ken, he's working at Quads. Ah, uh, uh, you should come. You should drive down." I was like, "Dude, say no more." Like I'm, in, like I got a vault, and then I came down, met you, and we recorded like what seven songs in one night, yeah, yeah. something like that. Okay. Shout out Quad Studios, NYC, <laughs> NYC, <laughs> New York, record, man. Shout out Interstellar Records. <laughs> shout out to Interstellar Records. <laughs> no shout out to Buster Rhymes though. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we don't think about Buster. All right. Uh, <laughs> Top of the charts right now, and you can go to any place you wanted. Where would that place be? Like, who would your headliners be? The Garden. Who would your headliners be? Yeah. I'm in the Garden, bro. Garden. I'm in the Garden. I'm not gonna lie. Who's opening for me? No cap. Fuck. Who's opening for me? Fuck. I don't even know. I don't know. Fuck. Who's on three on the KOD tour? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Fucking. So we'll say pick three. The baby. The baby is open for me. The baby is The baby got open for me, bro. He will have. He got me the last before I come home. Cause he'll get everybody fucking hype. Fucking the baby. Yo, that shit goes stupid. All right, so where would you go? It would have to be the Mecca, man. That's that's home. You know what I'm saying? It would have to be, bro. You saw the garden, man. 
in New York, if you saw the garden, you made it. So and I'm getting, and I'm getting the fucking the high up stage like fucking openers? Kanye. Yeah. Uh, honestly, y'all would have to keep it home. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So love uh, Cas- Casco Bay and Flea. Casco Bay and Flea, my bro Nick Ones. Nick oh, Ones. Oh yeah, okay. Nick Ones. Yeah, Ones. so he got some He's heat nice. for y'all. Okay. He's nice. He got some heat for y'all. Break me out now on SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> K K one N E, look it up. Yeah, look up, look up. Yo, I could perform anywhere in the world. No joke. I wanna, I wanna perform where they played the World Cup in like two, a couple years ago. That's fine. Just cause there's so many heads. It was in Brazil. Brazil. I don't know like the name of the stadium or whatever. <laughs> but and then who would open for me? Yo, honestly, I would want some like. Honestly, if I'm if I'm selling out something in Brazil, then Drake is opening for me. Okay, <laughs> Drake is opening. Drake, Drake is opening. You right now. Yeah, yo, you gotta be top of the top of the I top. I don't even know who right like, now. Yo, Drizzy. Yo, Drizzy. Yo, Drizzy. Yo, Drizzy. Yo, you can't open for nobody. Yeah, well, you can be open right. right. for me. You might be open. You might be open for some niggas. It's like as a favor. Uh, <laughs> I think he does. Uh, I don't know. I still think the Migos asked him to open. He's like, nah, this is half my tour now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like something he would rap about too. <laughs> and he's in front. He's in front of the Aubrey instead of them. Mm-hmm. And now, that's how the Aubrey and the Three Migos tour happened. Like, yeah, yeah like, Aubrey and the Three Migos. Yeah, that's like, the last tour they just did. Open. <laughs> like, open. Open. Oh, open. Oh, all right. <laughs> you know, I'm not opening these doors without me. Collab <laughs> tour. Yeah, like, nah. Oh my gosh. Chicken play. <laughs> so, all right. So I got I got one more question. Alright, right, I got one more shot. For <laughs> I want I want you know, two to three from each of you. Who do you think is next up in the industry right now? Who do you uh, think who do you think's about to pop up? Who alright. Who do you think's right there and it's about to about to take it all the way? The baby. The baby. The baby's popping. The baby yeah, really be popping um, up. He's yes, he's yes, he's Cowboy? Cowboy, how do you say? Oh. Well, now it's obviously. Nah. <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, it's a one hit wonder. He nah, he's he's like, bro, it was some meme music, bro. He made meme yeah, music. Yeah, he's nice, bro. He's a bro. You don't see his style. I'm not saying he's trash. No, no, but have your ears on release. J. Cole literally says, some niggas make millions. Other niggas make millions. Big memes. The only person who made both music and make it that I think is Young Thug and made in Tokyo. Remember Young Thug? I'm a stoner, I'm a stoner, I'm a stoner. That was a vibe, bro. That was the. So we're the. <laughs> so we're the, <laughs> <laughs> the vibe song, bro. Migos were mean people. With the, yeah. Yeah. Everyone, everyone says. Everyone says. That oh, was yeah, 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 yeah. Versace, Fight Night, all the early songs. Versace. Oh, Bad and Bougie. Drake was their biggest meme song. Bro, that's when it turned up. Yeah, it was already nice. Bad and Bougie was fire. Bro, no one. was fire. Culture was like, bro, they just flipped the fucking switch and just, like, changed their whole sound. I don't know what happened. Drake wrote it for him so. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was terrible. Redemption. That's we got those redemption, redemption shots. Redemption. Right redemption, redemption on the line. Okay. Uh, same shot. Slow. Oh, I got three artists for y'all. Huh? So I got three artists. They're all from Queens. Oh. Uh, I mentioned them already. I met, yeah, I mentioned them already. So yeah, it's three. Got one, two, and three right here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> nah, but what was the question? Wasn't it um, three people next coming up? Next up. Next up. Next up. Yeah, I mean, you know, besides us, you know, obviously, you know, <laughs> definitely coming, you know, know for these, is, coming for these next, man, you know, but, um, <laughs> but, um, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, it's not even, yeah. like, my fault, bro, my fault, I'll come to you over, but just, like, nah, it's not even, like, niggas can't rap like this, it's just, this, our, our songs as a collective, like, it's not like, oh, this nigga got bars, oh, this nigga got, it's like, the song as a whole, niggas is not fucking with us. <laughs> That's what I need. Our songs as a whole. When we make music people together, people are not fucking with us. No, not D&D? even close. Four twenty. D and I want to hear this. I want to hear three. Yeah, honestly, dude, it's the baby. Uh, who's popping on SoundCloud right? The baby really pulling. Bro, <sighs> you already, you already <laughs> he's, up. Yeah, bro. he's not already up, bro. He just he's, got yeah. up like, just, like he's, two weeks ago. He's, he's, I was listening to him for like, like a like, month. They went like this. They went like this. Remember when Paul? I don't know. I don't know too much. Like, to be honest, I'm not deep in it. Yeah, he said Cole. You know what I mean? Garbage. 
Culture two is garbage. Culture two is garbage. Culture two is. Ah, let's not get crazy. Culture, cold, the, the bro, there's the 20 songs ballad. on culture two. There's definitely at least like five that are bad. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Including right. the podcast, I want y'all to shout out whatever you got going on right now. Whatever's coming soon. Go ahead. This camera. This. No. There's only one camera. Action Bronson dropping soon. Y'all not ready for it. Action Bronson. I keep thinking y'all talking about the man. Nah. I was like, why are we worried about him right now? <laughs> I gotta s- D and D four twenty. D and D four twenty. D and D four twenty. Go bump that man. And for real. ones. Go on. for a second. Ghost ride coming soon. Ghost ride coming soon. Ghost ride coming real soon. Oh, honest out on SoundCloud. Oh yeah, honest, honest out. out. Honest yeah, out. Go oh, check out. Recognize. Ch- check out oh, honest on SoundCloud. Right, so, an album will come soon. Instas, your handles. Oh, at bless the dawn underscore. Follow you know what me. Saying? Ask for ones. Go, go follow that for real. D I T O M M A S O R E C. Who, who, who? Niggas ain't gonna remember that. What the fuck? What he said? They're gonna have to run it back. Just follow me. They have to run it back. All right, for Gerber Rex, this has been the pit. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Peace out.